I've been eating incredibly healthily lately. So, as a special treat, I'm having some burgers. Now, these aren't just any burgers. These are burrito burgers with some raw onion. This is how I've asked for it. And some of this beautiful sauce. This is really nice stuff. Some mushrooms. And I believe there's two more burgers coming, is there? <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Enjoy. I will. I'll tell you what, Mazzy. What? This is the perfect place to come to get married. Are you asking me? No, stupid. Oh. There's someone out there who's just got married and they've come on cliff tops. I know, they're the cutest. And I think they're having their photos taken and stuff on the cliffs. Whatever pictures they're after here, they're going to get some beauties. But the unfortunate part about it, they're going to be married. Well, they are married. Wedding's over. They've got married, Mazzy. Yeah, they're going to have some beautiful pictures there. You can see in the background, look, the cliff. There's the cliff. See why they've come? Oh, they're kissing, Mazzy. Oh, oh they're doing kisses and stuff. <laughs> he looks fed up already, doesn't he? Oh, they've just let their little wedding balloons go. Yeah, you know what's going to happen now, don't you? What? They're going to crash into cliffs and sink and get all wet. About £9.99, knocking on £12.99, some of them balloons, you know. Oh, hey! I've already thought of his uh, title for his video tomorrow anyway. For this video? Yeah, getting married on the Kilkee Cliffs. Yeah, clickbait! Clickbait. You've got to clickbait, otherwise people don't watch your videos anymore. So Mazzy's just told me, and I've never heard this before, whilst they're getting married over on a cliff. Um, when you see a wedding couple, you're meant to bip your horn on your vehicle. Is that true? I've never heard that before. Uh, let us know in the comments, please, if you do or if you don't. I'm not wasting a bib, Mazzy. We might need that bib another day. So you've got a very professional-looking photographer. He's got two cameras. One, well, they've both got quite big lenses on, bigger than mine. And then you've got another guy who's got a drone. And they've had to stand there for like five minutes kissing and cuddling. It must be very awkward for them because they're trying to get drone footage of them. So weather permitting, in the morning, if the wind dies down a bit, I'm going to get my drone out. Because this is the most amazing cliff line we've ever seen um, in Ireland, definitely. The view over there where you can't park is spectacular. Might even walk over there in the morning, I don't know. We'll see. But, yeah, he's got one of these modern drones, you know the ones which are under um, 450 grams. But they're tiny. But it seems to be coping really well in quite a high wind. Are they better in wind? Because you'd think a heavier one like mine would be better in wind than his. But his is not struggling at all. Congratulations! <laughs> what a warm! <laughs> you couldn't have picked a more beautiful spot. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Sweetest couple ever. Oh gosh, yeah, they've got a wonderful car too. I'd love to get out and show you that, won't I? <laughs> it is lovely that they got married, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, really if that's nice. what they want to do. But did you see the amount of money involved there? It's not about the money. It is, Mazzy. It's about the happiness. <laughs> Dress, £3,000. Car, car hire, £1,000. Vintage classic car, absolutely beautiful. I couldn't capture it, but yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you know. I can think of, just imagine how many cans of, I don't know, corned beef or <laughs> tuna you could get for that. Babe, stop that! You're ruining this special day! I'm not! And you're not certainly going to ruin ours! There you go, Mazzy. If we ever get married, that's how, that's how our do will be. We'll be dressed similar to that. We won't be wasting money on photographers, we'll bring us on camera. Whee! Oh, bless him. Look at the posh car. Seven bibs are just wasted there, Mazzy. Oh. Seven bibs. <laughs> How much does a bib cost? I'm not going to Alfred's and buying another pack of bibs. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. 
Right, what a wonderful spot we found here. We oh. was going to get the drone out this morning, but I'm scared of losing it Are over you the cliffs. Me? I'm scared. Oh. And I've heard that seagulls attack drones. There's a lot of seagulls around here. Yeah. So I'm not going to risk it. But what a place. I'd Honestly. love to stay here again. <laughs> so if you have the chance to wild camp anywhere in Ireland, this is the spot. Killikey is just that way. Killikey Cliffs is just that way, and it's in between the two. Oh, we're at Killikey, not Kilkey. Kilkey, sorry. K I L K E E. <laughs> it is amazing. Mm. Uh, we've shown you people getting married up here yesterday. I'll quickly show you the view. The waves are amazing, the birds are amazing. Finally seen a chuff. Well, a family of chuffs, four of them. But the best view we've had, I think, was from over there, just as we were driving here, at the other side of this rock. It was spectacular, and I'm hoping Mazzy's gonna be able to show you that as we drive back that way. If you just get the camera on it and try oh, and I'll have show to hold them. it that way, won't I? Yeah. yeah. It won't be easy, but uh, give <laughs> it a go. This is a definite stopover. It is, it is. Yeah. You've got parking area up there, which is big enough for, I'd say, five or six motorhomes, and it's right just next to the cliffs. Beautiful. So, right, today we're going live. We are, yes. Um, so we've got to go Sunday. somewhere. We've got to find a good signal. Yeah, which we've not had all week. No, we've <laughs> had a signal, but not a good signal. Mm. Um, we're firstly going to go up to Killikey Kilke Cliffs, <laughs> which is two miles that way, just to check them cliffs out. So I reckon they'll be amazing as well. And then we're, it's about an hour's drive. The sun's in <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, an hour's drive over to, was it Doolin? Doolin, yeah. Doolin area. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, let's just do this. It's just an enjoyable, relaxing day. Relaxing. Oh. <laughs> He's grumpy. Look. Mooning. How are you? Mooning. He's moody today. He is a bit moody, isn't he? <laughs> well, moving on. So we've arrived at Kilkee Cliffs. It's beautiful, what? isn't it? Was that not called Kilkee Cliffs where we were, though? No. Oh, it wasn't. You tell me it was the small. Well, it is cliffs at Kilkee. Oh. <laughs> but it's not known as Kilkee Cliffs. This is. But we're only around the corner, right? It's we? two miles further on, and you can park here at yeah. night as this well. This um, It is a bit more sloping here. Not if you can see that on here, but it is slightly sloping. But you could get away with it, stay in the night. This was going to be a second option, but zero internet here. <laughs> yeah, we just checked. Whereas you do get a bit at the other one. Now, just been reading the sign and there's some yeah. fascinating information. Firstly, can you remember at the museum we were at the other day? The Folk Park. The Folk Castle Park. Castle and Folk Park. I saw yeah. a picture and I says, I'm sure that's Charlotte Bronte. Yeah. It was Charlotte Bronte, Mazzy. Yeah. And I can know I that. Can I tell fact? You can, but let me finish mine. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Charlotte Bronte had a honeymoon here. Oh. How cool is that? <laughs> so on to Mazzy's interesting fact. I have an interesting fact. Now I'm small, but think of someone smaller than me. Oh. Danny DeVito! Danny he has, DeVito? Yeah, he has relatives here. In Kilkee? <laughs> yeah. It does indeed, it, it does, does indeed. But it gets better than that, Mazzy. Better than that? The British <laughs> poet, uh, yeah. Lord Tennyson, uh -huh. he came here three times in 1878. I don't know who I don't know who he is. Well he's a poet. <laughs> he's a poet, a very, very well known one. Oh, okay. Um Richard Harris, he fell in love with the place here, the Hollywood star. I don't know who he is. But this one gets me. And I always say his name wrong. Chi Guevara. Chi Guevara. He visited here when his plane was grounded by fog at Shannon in 1966. I would never have thought he would have ever been here. You've never heard of him, have you? I think I've seen the picture of him, but yeah, I don't know Yeah, he's on a lot of t-shirts. Yeah. A lot of t-shirts. So here we are, Kilkee Cliffs. I keep saying it wrong. Now, over there, we've already seen an amazing, like, I don't know, loads of arches going through that little island. I don't know if you can see them, but it's just arch after arch. It looks beautiful. Um, and we've noticed we can actually walk onto here. So we're going to go over there and see if we can get some better shots of it. It's quite cool really, because we're going on this little blob. 
but each side you've got these massive cliffs and crags and cavey bits and big waves splashing in. Beautiful. A few fishermen and fisher ladies down there. I think him in the red cap's got something, but. Oh, oh there he is. Two. two fish. Two mackerel by the look of it. Well done. Now I know we have quite a few children who watch us videos. Yes. Little competition just for you children out there. Really? You ain't told me about this. I've only just thought of it. They, they don't yeah. win any, you don't win anything. Oh. <laughs> you don't, but if you do get it right, we will mention your name in the next video. Yes. Okay. Now, whilst I've been talking here on this clip, over the top of it, I've shown you the beautiful island behind. Now, you'll notice that loads of seagulls have flown past. How many seagulls was in that shot? <laughs> That'll keep them busy for That's tonight, won't hard it? One. <laughs> put your answers in the comments. Get your mummy and daddy to put your answers in the comments, and uh, if anyone gets it right, uh, we'll mention your name in the next yes. video. I think for me and Mazzy, what really makes the seaside, the best parts of the seaside, is when you get these sea stacks in the middle. They're absolutely beautiful. You know, you always get birds flying around them. They'll just look like they shouldn't be there. And they're spectacular. And that is a beautiful example of one. And around here as well, you've got quite a few of these little islandy stacks. Amazing. So it's about one hour and ten minutes to where I'm heading today, where I'm taking you. Um, but I think what we've decided is if we see anything on the way worth stopping for, we will. And you just noticed something yeah. religious, didn't you? It's quite unusual though, nothing I've ever seen before. It looks like a little dog dog's house. kennel. Yeah! <laughs> a dog's kennel with a cross on top of it just over here. So, And there's a, there is a plaque over there, so let's go check it out. Might be a holy well or something. Come on, let's go pray. St. Key's Well, K-E-E. -E. You was right. St. Key's Well, that's all I know so far. Uh, praise to you, almighty God and Father, for you created water to cleanse and to give life and blah de blah de blah de blah. So how many holy wells do you think there are in Ireland, Mazzy? Thousands. Thousands? How many exactly? I don't know, 1,001. No. No. <laughs> Have another guess. Um, no, I, you're wrong again. No. 3,000. Oh. 3,000 holy wells. Now, what they used to do, if you go to any holy... Ooh, you'll love this, but don't look yet. Oh. What they used to do yeah. is every well would have so many... What do you call that thing you just saw? Oh. A prayer thing. Oh, it's like it's like a traditional thing. You, what do you mean, like, say your prayers nine times around? Yeah. Yeah. But it's like <laughs> so many holy fathers or whatever. Yeah. Things like Five. that. Five Hail Marys, five Our Fathers, five... Yeah, Lord things like that. Yeah. So yeah. every well would have different <laughs> rules. Right. And they say that every, I think it was Thursday, Saturday and Sunday, people should come and do the prayers at the wells. So it was a big, big, big thing. Oh. 3,000 of them now. Mazzy's yeah. first sight of the well. Are you ready yeah, for a reaction? Yeah, I can reaction? see a doorway. But... Come on, come and have a look. Oh! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Isn't this nice? You've got a proper... Holy well down at the bottom there. Oh. And all these little religious things here. Oh, I love it. Oh, look at some of these on the wall. Fantastic. Oh, a metal one there of Jesus. And then loads of money. There's even a euro there, Mazzy. It's beautiful, isn't it? It is. Well, it needs a good paint, if you want my opinion. That needs painting, but it's nice that you have these places still. It is nice. And a lovely little cross on top. And St. Key himself, they reckon he was a hermit, and he probably lived on the island just over there, which isn't a proper island. It's like one of them big stacks we just showed you. In fact, it's there. <laughs> so that's actually in the sea. I don't know if you can see that. I think it's called Bishop's Island, if I've got the right one. And they reckon he lived on there. A little prayer. <laughs> what did you pray for? A secret. It's a prayer. 
Only me and Holy God knows. <laughs> Holy God? Yeah. Mm. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's lovely. Yeah, very nice. Right, moving on. So we're just going through Doonbeg, where your family's buried, Mazze, and lived. Yeah. Um, and Donald Trump owns a golf course here, one of the best in Ireland, apparently. And it was in the news yesterday saying that, uh, I don't know where it is, we can't find it. It was in the news yesterday saying that I had lost one million dollars in last year. Poor, poor Donald Trump. Just got to feel for him, haven't you? One million dollars is lost in the last year. Heart goes out to the poor guy. Trump International Golf Links and Hotel. That's the one. One million dollars the poor man lost last year. How he's going to survive, how he's going to feed his family this year, I have no idea. You know, you think you've got it hard watching this video? Spare a moment for poor Donald Trump and the Trump family this year. Say a prayer for them next time you go to church. Poor, poor man. Finish editing? Yes, that's going to be Monday night's video. Right. In fact, that's it's going to be the video you're watching now. Oh, is it? <laughs> yes. Yeah, of course. Um, we've got balloons going on. What's the balloons all about, babe? Well, that's for a special announcement, which we're making on as live tonight, which we've already made because this is Monday's video. So they would know already what the announcement is. Yeah. Okay. We basically live in Ireland now. Yeah. We officially are <laughs> residents of Ireland. That's mad. It that is, is mad. actually mad. It is really mad. And what's madder, yeah. I can actually apply to become an Irish citizen. You can, you can get an Irish passport now. If they were any good at football, I'd consider it, but there's no way I'm supporting Ireland. The, hey! ru the rubbish, <laughs> the rubbish of football. Try your elf hat on, ready for the live look. Um, Back to front. So we've got to get all Irish, haven't we? Because we're Irish citizens now. Mm hmm. So this is our stop tonight. We're in a little um, village called Quilty, little high street up that way, right next to the beach, which is absolutely gorgeous. But I don't think we're going to go down there today. We are going to relax today, aren't we, honey? I think we're both a bit worn out today, aren't we? Yes, I think uh, we're getting, we're starting to get, what's the word? Burnout. Burnout. <laughs> yeah. Burnout. YouTube burnout, that's what we're getting. <laughs> yeah. I think we only missed three, maybe four days of videos in the whole of July, which is a record for us. And we only missed them because we didn't have a signal. Yeah, we actually technically filmed We did film, film every day. day. Yeah. So we've got burnout, simple as that. Burnout. So no more videos for next month. Yeah. Just chill out. And we got a restaurant on the corner just up there called Dino's or Dino's and restaurant. Um, not restaurant but a takeout that'd take be so away. cool if we could get a takeaway tonight we're not sure if it's going to be open we don't know if it'll be open but the reviews are fantastic it gets one out of five stars and I absolutely would love a night off from cooking <laughs> please yeah well I want tuna pasta as well babe just put my beautiful Irish princess crown on. You know, I'm an Irish resident now. Got to look the part. So we're just bumping into a couple of lads. Got, we've been collecting lab worms for the day. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> See you, lads. Cheers. Enjoy. So we're in Quilty. We're packed up for the night. Introduce yourselves, please. Hi, I'm Helma. Hi, I'm Donny. Now, these two, it took me a while to remember these two sent me an email the other week saying we could have, was it on your driveway? Yeah. Saying we could have stayed on the driveway. You know where we parked next to a swimming baths? Uh, in that area. Yeah. Eskeaton. Eskeaton. Uh, and he sent a lovely email offering for us to stay there, but we'd already left the area. I bet I didn't even reply to that. You did? You did? Did I? Yes. <laughs> I don't reply to most people. Uh, yes, lovely did. to meet you. They're in a motorhome over there. And I think they're off to Doolin tonight. Sorry. But lovely to meet you. Thank nice you very much. You. Wish you the safest journey. Thank and you. In English, that is, we wish you the safest <laughs> of journey. Really struggling to understand people around here. They've got really weird accents. It's like Irish. Well, that was a party and a half, wasn't it? <laughs> That's the last live I'm letting you take charge of, Mazzy. Look at it. I've got to clear all this up. It's gotten everywhere. Why? 
What do you mean that I take chocolate? Look at now? look at us home. It's even gone in me hot chocolate, Mazzy. Oh no, it's gone in me coffee too. <laughs> that was fun though, wasn't it? We yeah. should have got two of those. And we both know what's going to happen off camera, don't we? What? You're going to go into bed and I'm going to be left to tidy all you this up on You never tidy. I'm going to tidy this. I was trying to pick them up one by one and I thought, no, just no, get the I'm not letting you get away with that one. I'm going to tell them the truth. I'm going to be the one cleaning all this up. Oh, whatever. They know. Good morning from Quilty. Quilty, yeah. Quilty. Come and show them where we parked last night, Mazzy. <laughs> it this sounds where... really cosy, doesn't it? It Quilty? does. This is where we parked last night on this live video. Yeah. If you ever come here, there's only one really good spot and it's at the bottom of the hill. Everywhere else is a bit gloomy. It's a bit sure, this Mazzy. I saw this in the news the other day. They brought this out. No one's allowed to swim in most of the beaches on County Cl in County Clare because of some increased bacteria levels as a result of heavy rain. Yeah. Been reading about that and it always seems to happen when there's a bank holiday so people aren't very happy because they can't go in the sea. It's only for five days, isn't it? Yeah, but that's when the bank holiday's over. Honey, I've got a job for you. What's that then? I've got a tool out for you. A tool out? <laughs> yeah. Come in. You're going the wrong way, that way, look. See there, it's on the table. Knife? Oh, yeah. Oh, God. What do you want me to do? <laughs> I need you to pop these balloons so I can pop them in the bin. Just go easy, yeah. Can I do it now? Yeah, hold on, hold on. Which ones are you starting with? All of them, all of them, Mazzy. <laughs> okay, go! <laughs> Did you enjoy that? Yeah. So as you can see, it is actually lovely and tidy now after our party yesterday. But I will have to add, my hoover ran out halfway through. Yes, I had to pick those up one by one. I did. You were in bed. Oh, you did. You. So as you can see, it is actually lovely and tidy now after our party yesterday. But I will have to add, my hoover ran out halfway through. Yes, I had to pick those up one by one. I did, you were in bed. Oh, you did, you! I do have to say, though, before we go, to wake up to this, honest to God, I feel like the luckiest girl in the world today. Me and Dan are so, so lucky. Right, anyway, moving on. Another road that's not quite suitable for us, is it? It's my Google Maps lady, I've had enough of her. Yeah, I know, but you two stop arguing. She's meant to be sending me on to Coastal Road. This isn't a coastal road, this is not even a road. It's a track. <laughs> it's got grass in the middle, you know. Oh my goodness, we're going to come across Ridiculous. 3.6, what size are we? I don't know. Oh no, check! <laughs> we, no, 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 are we big enough? Oh, this is ridiculous! Honey, no, you haven't told me. Are we big enough? It's all right. Tyres are a bit flat at the moment anyway, so... No! Oh, my God. I am literally holding on for dear life. Ah! Jesus, that was scary. Oh, my God, sorry. I didn't mean to say that. That was... Even you were scared, wasn't you? No. Nope. Main road up here, Mazzy. Yes, thank God. Just over here in the distance here now, we're approaching the Cliffs of Maha. We're approaching the Cliffs of Moa and we're going directly past the Cliffs of Moa. I've actually been there and I enjoyed it, but you can't actually see the cliffs from here. You can't see them, We've never, I've never seen them. No, but we'll see the Cliffs of Moa from, from another point round the corner where there's only some stops, isn't there? No. Isn't there? I don't think it's possible to see the cliffs without paying to go in one of these car parks. Oh. There's a few car parks, different people with a bit of land where you can get to them, but I just refuse to pay to see a cliff. That kind of money anyway. How much is it, sorry? It's something like nine pounds per person. Oh, God, just to park a car and go to what? To the cliff. He is huge. Oh I love your piercing and your nose. You look good today. He was huge, wasn't he? 
Was it a bull? It was massive, 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 <laughs> massive, man, massive, yeah. massive, massive. I give up. I tried. So the landscape is completely different. You see the green there on the left-hand side. Well, we're going into the burren now on the right-hand side, which is just all rocks, and you've got some amazing rock formations. Um, so we're going to be driving through that on the coast road. It should be pretty cool, Mazzy. Yeah, I, we liked it here before, didn't we? We've seen, we were just mesmerised by the rock formations. Yeah. It's really weird. But we'll show you some much better views when we get there. Calm down, cap to ten. I'm having a very stressful drive today. It's Bank Holiday Monday and Bank Holiday Mondians are out. <laughs> and they're doing my nutting. I've been stuck. There's two people who've held us up today, both times they've been texting. Uh, one on a, on a cycle, one in a car, and they've just stopped in the middle of the road texting. Relax, relax. Not even pulled in, relax. just in the middle of the road, just stopped. Look, look, at, look at it now. Look, yeah, that's what I'm trying to say, just take this in. Look, look at the drastic change. I think last time Incredible. you described this as being the moon, didn't you? <laughs> Mars, baby. It's Mars, or very moony yeah. Mars, here, yeah. Crazy place, this. It's, it is a bit like being on the moon. Um, yeah, this is like the coast, and you've got cattle down there. There's hardly any grass for them. I'll just zoom out. Look, this is the coast going straight into the sea. It is incredible. You like your rocks, don't you? I love rocks, yeah. This is the most amazing I've seen. Um, just been looking on the map and there is a lighthouse just round the corner and a stone fort, but I think the stone fort is right up on one of the hills. Not something we could climb to today. But I'm not sure, we'll have a look for it. But yeah, spectacular. It's turning into a beautiful day now. Guess how old them rocks are, Mazzy, outside the window? Um, uh, 12... Well, well they're, they're, they're since the beginning of the world, aren't they, really? How old are the rocks, Mazzy? How old is the world? Guess. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Have a guess. I don't know, I just don't know. 600 BC. 600 BC? Yeah. No, they're 340 million years old. It's a wow. long, long time, isn't it? Yeah. It used to be the seabed did that. Really? Sand? Yeah. Well, seabed. So the rocks were never there before? Yeah, it was just like one big long rock, but it's, it's, it looks like this because then we had the Ice Age. Uh huh. And rainwater has pretty much dissolved a lot of it and it's left it looking like it does today. That's amazing. It is, isn't it? What a spectacular view, darling, isn't it? It is rather nice, yes. Oh, it's gorgeous with the sun glistening down like that down there. And the Pegasus caravan going at 10 miles per hour in front of us. <laughs> Honey, what have I just told you 10 minutes ago? No, to be honest, I'm actually happy because oh. it means people can't have a go at me from behind. Yeah, and I've tried to tell you to suck it up and don't let people get to you today, haven't it? Bank holidays. We should have just found somewhere to hide today and tomorrow. No, not at all. Look at the gorgeous weather and the gorgeous views we have. Shall we do an outro then? Yeah, bye. No, you've got to be a bit nicer than that. Um, thanks for watching, bye. <laughs> yeah, we've got still a long day ahead of us. It's been a long day already, so we're going to see. Call this, a, call this it, yeah? Yeah, we've just got to try and find somewhere to park. There's The place I'm hoping for is in half an hour's drive. If there isn't yes. anywhere there, we're going to have to go through Galway <laughs> to the other side, which is an hour's drive. So, yeah, this video's long enough now. We'll leave it there and say goodbye and catch you tomorrow. Catch you tomorrow. As long as we've got a signal. Bye-bye! Thanks, Thanks for watching. watching! Please comment and hit the like button. That helps our channel grow. If you like what you see, click here to subscribe. Check out this other great video. And if you really want to show your support, join the club, become a Patreon for extra videos and perks. The more support we get, the more content we can give.
We'll see you tomorrow on Travel, Travel Trolls, Trolls TV. TV.